Hello, thank you for joining me. We're in Lisbon today. We're at one of the main metro stations. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it, but I'll show you how it's written in a minute. Do you remember these ticket barriers? Swash swoosh ones, I called them. I don't think there's anywhere in the UK that has them. But Ireland has them. I remember when a few stations like Romford and Portsmouth and South Sea, Southampton Central, and the final station to have them was um, Epsom in Surrey. But now, no railway stations in Britain have the swash swoosh ticket barriers. That's they call, they're called that because of the way they kind of they open. They sort of they don't open like a gate. They kind of go like that. So um, yeah, we're at, we're at the one of the main metro stations. The track is actually just down below me. So there's platforms. You can hear a train coming in. There's there's actually two lines. Below me is the green line. Just over there is the blue line. So we're going to go down. And I'm going one stop to the end of the green line. It's right. It's not my train. So I haven't got a rush. Um, we're actually gonna go out of Lisbon and across the Tagus, the River Tagus or Talgus, um, on a boat. But I've got to go one stop to the end of the Green Line. So this is the Green Line platform. If you go look here, here is the Blue Line platform. And here's our first view of the Metro train. So it's two free car units together. I've noticed there appears to be two types of very similar trains. One's like this that have the walk-through carriages, like the London S-Dog trains, and ones that don't. I've been to the end of the Blue Line, and there's a railway station there, and there was even a few local hall trains, so really quite nice. Now, as for the name of the station, I'll show it to you so you can see how it's pronounced. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it, but that's where we are. And if I can find a map, where was that map? There we are, I've just seen a map over there. I'll show you where I'm going to take you to today. So we're here, and we're going to there. That's also a railway station, which goes to a town called Cascais. I'm not doing that today, but we're going to go across to Almada and uh, ride the tram system there. Of course, Lisbon's got its own very fascinating tram system with old four-wheel trams. We'll do that in another video, but today it's about going to Almada on a metro. So we're just arriving at the final station on the Green Line. I'll just show you the interior of the train. As you can see, it's got seating so you can look out the window, which I quite like, rather than the seating that faces inwards. I said the other train we saw had walk through carriages. This one has more like the London Underground, AC and D-stop trains have, where you have a door between each carriage. So the train we came on, where's the number? There we are, it's behind the door. 391. I'm just going to walk up here because I like to know the number of the other unit that I travelled on. Oh, I've got Budapest Metro shirt on today. Um, I wonder if I do a Lisbon one. Perhaps just get one. A lot of tiles in Portugal. Wherever you go in Portugal, it always has tile viewers. Look, oh, the train's going out into the reversal side. It's M699. So that's the end of the line, but it's obviously reversing side. Three platforms here. They're probably in the busiest of times. They can have this must be the arrivals platform, and I assume they're two departures platforms. I've now got to find my way out. It appears we're in like a cut and cover concrete box going by the ceiling. So they must have dug this out as a huge sort of oblong shape in the ground and then they've covered it over. So also this is a railway station on the line to Cascais, which um might do if I have time, but the main point of this video is to go across to Talgus and explore the Almada tram network because Lisbon's very pleasant, it's very, very touristy. So, what I kind of want to do is show you some of the not so touristy areas. Oh, this is interesting. So, that's a fire exit only. It looks like ticket barriers are down there. We've got this travelator to go along. I suppose most people probably. If they wouldn't, would go up the stairs at that end. But 
as I always like to have a look, so I can walk really far from it. Oh, I so yeah, we're going to go up. So this station, as well as being a railway and a metro station, is also a ferry terminal. So that's the point I'm up to today, getting the ferry. There's lifts down onto the platform, so most stations are accessible. No, um, this travelator is not going. I can see ticket barriers on this level. I can also see some upstairs. So maybe there for the mainline station. I've noticed some railway stations here in Portugal, as opposed to railway stations, not metro stations, have ticket barriers. Others don't. So a bit like the UK, really. But I've not yet seen a metro station that doesn't have ticket barriers. So as soon as we get ticket barriers, I'm going to have to stop filming because I need to find my ticket and um, get out. I'll explain a bit about how the ticketing system works here later on. So here are a gate line of what I call the swash swoosh ticket barriers. If you try and see how they open, you see what I mean? They kind of go down and up. So just come up from where we were. That's the departure platform for the metro. That's where we were, where the travelators were. Came for a set of ticket barriers. Now, here above us is the mainline station, and as you can see, it also has ticket barriers, much taller swash swoosh ticket barriers. So, I'm not catching a train now. I'm going to try and find the ferry terminal. So, if you have a look, see how they open. They don't always open, but they, as I said, they go swash swoosh. Interesting, that's something like the wide aisle one. There's actually two sets of barriers. Anyway, I need to try and find my way out of here to the ferry terminal, which I think is probably over there. So I've got to go down and up to get out of the station. So, please, get inside now. Same boat over there. So I've now come upstairs. This is the main platforms at the railway station. So there's about seven platforms, which for a railway that only goes 16 miles seems quite a lot. It seems they've possibly just stayed in the trains here when they're not in use maybe. It runs 60 miles to Cascais, mainly along by the sea. It, to me it's a bit like Lisbon's equivalent of the London Tilbury and South End Railway. It's kind of like a little self-contained network that, that only goes to one set of places. I'm very trying this one. So, I've got to go and find that now. And um, hopefully soon we shall be crossing the Tagus. So I'm on the ferry about to cross the Tagus. We're going just over there. And we're going to, uh, when we get there, do the trams of Alamada. There's three tram routes, so we're going to do that, have a look around, see if we can find any interesting sites. My plan is, I don't know if you can see it, but to come back over the bridge. You can just about see the bridge in the distance. It's a road bridge, but there's a railway underneath, and my plan is to take the train back to Lisbon later on today. So, time to cross the tunnel.